On behalf of Paige and Ryan, I want to thank you all so much for being here with us today. I know it means the world to them to be able to celebrate with all of you. I will admit, I am nervous. <laughs> but not nearly as nervous as Ryan is right now. <laughs> and not for the reason you might be thinking. Ryan is not nervous about marrying Paige. No, not one bit. I know that Ryan's not sure of that. Ryan is nervous because he just handed me a microphone and an opportunity to talk about him. <laughs> Absolutely had to have been Paige's idea. <laughs> and we all know Paige is smart. She's been my go-to for dating advice, most of which I didn't follow. <laughs> but I wish I had. <laughs> because clearly she's got this whole relationship thing figured out. And I'm excited to tell you guys more about how we ended up here. For those of you I haven't met, I'm Alex. I stand before you today with absolutely no credentials of consequence. <laughs> the state of Illinois has bigger problems than worrying about regulating wedding officiants. <laughs> but what I do have is years of friendship, first with Brian, and then with Paige, and the pleasure of having watched their relationship grow. Now I met Brian back first or back in college. We met through the running club and we instantly hit it off. Ryan and I shared an affinity for challenging each other. It started with silly challenges like arm wrestling and competitions to see who could label the most U.S. states on a map. And let me tell you folks, I feel very confident that Paige is not marrying Ryan for his geography. <laughs> Ryan also quickly convinced me to start running marathons and we challenged each other in many races. Our enjoyment of athletic endeavors and challenging each other persisted. After graduation, we both ended up in Chicago and decided to live together. We ended up living together for so long, we started to worry that we'd end up in a common law marriage. Before <laughs> <laughs> we everyone, we checked. The marriage between Paige and Ryan is totally valid. <laughs> We traveled together to New Zealand, to Greece and Berlin, running and pushing each other to our limits. Second, I got to watch Ryan date. <laughs> and in watching Ryan date, I started to learn what he was looking for. Enter Paige. Paige and Ryan met in August 2019. Now I wasn't there for their first encounter, but I was for the second and the third, and I want to tell you about them. Now our friend Ryan is not a morning person. <laughs> but for their second date, Ryan got up the earliest I had seen him awake in years to go for a run with Paige. 6.17 a.m., I checked. He was off on his way to Paige, and that was the first sign to me that this was something special. At the time, Ryan and I were in our final weeks of the marathon training plan, so a few days later, we went out for our last long run of the season. As fate would have it, the morning of our run was the most atrocious, torrential downpour I have ever experienced in my life. I mean, it truly poured for the full three plus hours of that run. We were 15 miles in, and we hadn't passed a single other person on the running path the whole time, because you'd have to be nuts to be out there. <laughs> and all of a sudden, someone emerges running past us in the other direction. And we hear Ryan say, oh, hi, Paige. <laughs> and again, in that moment, the feeling grew that this girl was something special. In watching Ryan date, what I learned was that he was looking for someone that could challenge him. And oh, can Paige <laughs> Whether it was playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader at a local bar, or setting up our brackets to guess who would win the most dramatic season yet in the Bachelor franchise, Ryan had his work cut out for him to take on Paige. But the moment I knew that Paige was the one was when Ryan and Paige returned from their trip to the Grand Canyon together. They'd gone there to take on the rim to rim to rim challenge. 
running from the north rim of the canyon, down through the canyon, back up the other side, and then repeated in reverse, all the way back to where they started. It was a grueling 50-mile adventure. Ryan had been on some crazy running adventures by now, but this was the first for Paige. I was nervous he pushed this poor girl too far, and then their first big adventure together made me their last. <laughs> but when Ryan got back and started telling me about the trip, boy was I wrong. Not only did Paige survive that trip, she led the way. She <laughs> literally had to drag Ryan back out of the camp. <laughs> Paige did not be my concern. Brian did. <laughs> but Ryan had officially met his match. But in so doing, he had met his match. He found his partner for life's adventures, both big and small. <clears throat> Paige and Ryan challenged each other, but equally support each other. I know this because I've seen them fight Chicago traffic to drive to the airport to pick each other up. And trust me, people, you only do that if you are truly in love. <laughs> but Paige and Ryan didn't fall into a loving and supportive relationship on their own. They did it with help from all of you. Paige, Ryan, take a moment to recognize your community. Look at all the smiling faces around you. Today, we're ready to celebrate you and shower you in love. But you will know everyone here is equally ready to support you when times are tough. And today, you've chosen to take a public vow, a promise to each other, to provide that same enduring love, support, and admiration without hesitation or reservation through life's most harmonious and joyous moments, and equally through life's toughest challenges. You've chosen to take this vow in front of your most important community, and your college friends. <laughs> because these are the people who have helped shape you, who have guided you, held you accountable, and who will be there to provide unending support as you grow your lives together. Ryan, Paige, are you ready to make your vows? Sure. I can't believe we are finally here. I haven't told you this yet, but I actually know the exact moment I realized you were the one. It was a cold Chicago day, and I was physically at work, but mentally off daydreaming about literally anything else. <laughs> My mind strayed to the distant future. To me, as an old man, I was doing pretty well, <laughs> and I was also a surprisingly hot old person. So. <laughs> <laughs> and in this daydream, I saw you there with me. I didn't have to mentally place you there, you just were there, hand in hand with me. Oh boy. <laughs> I realized that I cannot, I realized that I literally could not imagine growing old with anyone else in this life but you. That same day, I made an appointment to drill this storm, Dr. Brooklyn. So I'll start with these vows with an easy one that I promise to make that daydream a reality. That I will stay by your side for every breath I have and you'll never face this world alone. These kinds of vows are easy to make because of who you are, Paige. You make me laugh all the time. You teach me new things about myself every day. You take care of me, listen to me, and inspire me to achieve more than I ever thought possible. You do this all while also being the most beautiful and stunning person I know. I understand that love and marriage are things one has to fight for. And while I believe, I believe that putting in the work is one of the most admirable things a partner can do, it's never been something that I would describe as difficult because loving you is the easiest thing I've ever done. Loving you brings balance to my life. It makes my day tasks fun, makes dreams real, makes a house at home. Loving you means a puppy between us on every walk, 
It means no marathon in the world is safe from our ambitions. It means even an unsure and frightening future will always work out because he will be with you. Knowing these truths so deeply is why I invited everyone in my life to be here to witness these public vows to you. That I promise to try and take as good of care of you as you do of me. To always push each other to new challenges and to be an equal partner to you that honors and loves you as much as you truly deserve. I say these vows, I see these vows I make today, not as promises, but as privileges. I am privileged to be the person standing across from you today, and tomorrow, and even when we're old and gray, but of course, both still surprisingly hot. <laughs> I love you.
to show the utmost respect for him and your relationship, and to be there for each other as you journey through life? Do you promise to challenge each other to be better people and partners and to equally support each other in that pursuit? Do you promise to honor this commitment today, tomorrow, and for the rest of your lives? If so, you say, I believe we do too. I do. <laughs> See how she just challenged you? Yeah. <laughs> Ryan and Paige. 